By speaking to people who are not going anywhere. Do not allow anybody, the naysayers, the quarter brain cell people will, will have quarter brain cell will leak. Don't allow them to trick you out your spot. A lot of them don't want you to go ahead and get ahead in life because they know where you're going. I tell you all the while, I specialize in giving my haters heartburn, dyspepsia, GERD, chronic gastritis. I shine and blind them. Shine and blind them. Bright like stadium ball, but me no response. Mm. Do you want me to leave the checks? Cause I yeah, yeah, man, leave them. I'll, I'll write it. So you know how to. Yes, yes, yes. No, my lies is fine. I'll okay, just turn it off okay. and put it in. Okay. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, don't allow nobody to trick you out of your spot. Because some of them are that they want. Because when she tell you, don't apply for the. Don't apply for the promotion car. Them not gonna give ear you and yourself. I chew you know. I chew ya. Yeah. She gonna she gonna tell you. She gonna plant the seed out, you know. And because she's your friend, or you think she's your friend, or you think him is your friend, you gonna listen to him. Yeah. Then hear you. I chew you know. Cause hear her now. Don't apply for the um. Don't apply for the promotion yeah, car. Them I'm gonna go give them friend and them gonna overlook you and after, and you know them gonna say you not know, qualify and them gonna say this and that. Then you know if you're not careful. And if you don't have up your armor, you're going to buy into the lie. Hear you to yourself. Ah, true. Them not going to do it for true. Yeah, them ever just give them friend everything. Ah, true. Them not going to look for my um application. Ah, true. I'm not going to do it, yeah. Next thing, them going to shame me. Ah, true, yeah. And you don't do it. Not knowing that all this time, you have what it takes to go to the next level. Some people see your next level and they're afraid of your next level. I know a lot of people are threatened by my next level. They are. Every time. I wasn't supposed to be a, a successful media practitioner. I wasn't supposed to be a successful host. I wasn't supposed to be a successful author or a successful motivational speaker or a successful attorney at law. But guess what? I've achieved that. And there is more to come. If me listen to people, I wouldn't be an attorney at law today. Because when them, hi sweetie, hi honey. What up baby? <laughs> Make them say oh. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't supposed to be a, 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 an attorney at law today. Thank you Jordan for your compliment. Right? Lord, she too enough. Um, she don't have her, her job already in a media. Where she going to law for? She enough. Lord, oh, you're going to school and work same time and, and do show and do this and do that and da, da, da. And the naysayers were there. But I tuned them out. Tune them out. Don't allow them to plant the seed of negativity in your brain. As you hear it, you get up and go. Don't allow anyone to trick you out of your spot. If you want advice... Look at people, I'm, as I'm telling you already, I'm going to take the advice from somebody who I wouldn't switch my life with. Okay? I'm not. When I look at your life, I don't like your life. I wouldn't want your life. Your life is miserable. Your life will appear animosity, contention, and problem. I don't want the life there. I don't want your life. That doesn't look like a life I want. I want O'Neill's life. I want to be flying here and there, jetting off, you know, going on trips. I want that life. I want to have a successful business. Yeah. I want that kind of life. Hmm? You have some people, I tell you the things, them. Sometimes uh, the only thing you can take from some people is what not to do. Somebody said what not to do. The only thing that you should take from some people is what not to do. Follow me? Everything about you is exactly what I'm not supposed to do. Because I don't want to be where you are. <laughs> Only go away, I go. What I interpret, trick nobody. Somebody type what not to do. That's the only thing I'm taking away from you. What not to do. You are a living, 
breathing example of what I am not supposed to do. Plain and simple. You can't tell me anything else. I'm not going to allow you to trick me out of my spot. I deserve to be here. I deserve all of this. What well, I'm going to my sister. What up, baby? Everybody complimenting my wig. Yay. I deserve it. I deserve the best things in life. I deserve the finest things in life. I am worthy and I deserve it. I have the heart of a champion. I'm a leader and not a follower. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm a champion. I lead, I don't follow. So at the end of the day, speak good over yourself. Believe in yourself and do you. All the loudness for them are come with empty barrel make the most noise. Cause I'll know you're not loud in our bank. I'll know you're not loud in a tackle office. I'll know you're not loud in a first class banking. I'll know you're not, you're not loud. No way. We matter. I'll know you're not loud. You're not saying nothing. I'm not hear you. You're loud on Twitter. You're loud on Instagram. You're loud on Facebook. You, I don't hear you. I don't see you. I'm not pay attention to the comment section. Come here, deal with the author. I'm dealing with the author. The author. The author is who I'm talking to and who I'm dealing with. So when you want to get up, tell yourself you're a champion and don't allow anybody to trick you out of your spot. Will everything you do work? No. Sometimes you have to try again. Failing is not the issue. It's how you get up and what you do. I <laughs> see you. I see them. Oh, we don't see them. In the, new, in the VIP lounge in New York, I don't see them. I don't see them. You see you? You're not many people that give me a big food. <laughs> them and one thing about me in the same way i have worked hard and achieved what i have i want other people to know that you have the potential you can do it too dig deep in you you have it in you you are a champion you're a champion you have the heart of a champion tap into that and don't allow anybody to downplay you with, all right you see like oh dmx funeral um over the weekend and the whole of people them come out and the outpouring of love and me i say yeah watch the year and the man dead and gone i never know that he was that loved we have a problem especially people of the negroid race we cannot give people their props and we don't like to give people their props while they're alive we want to put them down we want to put them in a corner we want to reduce them and I went, people dead and gone now. Everybody, Lord, yeah, she did good, you know. She was a good girl. She was a good lady. Boy, I'm not in a lie. And everybody start talking about all what you do and all that you have contributed and all that you have done. And when you're alive, everybody's mouth was closed. Mouths closed. Mouths closed. DMX no know how loved he was. I'm dead and gone and don't know. Because I could have 20 billion, 20,000 bikers come out. And I could have put him in the highest truck. He doesn't know. He's no longer here. So he can't appreciate it. He can't feel it. He doesn't know. And that is why everybody that I rate, I make sure I call them. I tell Noel Cunningham, Noel, I rate you. As a youth come from Jamaica that I met in Mobay at the convention center that they have down there. So I don't remember what it was. And to see you writing a book, to have your show and doing your thing and being a chef extraordinaire. I remember when Noel sent me something. I stop with me, I don't go vote for me. It was some voting thing. Right? It's always done posthumously. We have to stop that. Let us love people and big them up while they're here. And that's why I want to say. All my Miss Kitty Nation family, big up on a nice clean self. I see you guys. I don't see everything, but I see some things. And I thank you guys for speaking up, 
Because a lot of times, the haters, they tend to be the loudest. And those people who love you are normally there, but they're on the sidelines. If you love me, you can't be on the sideline. You have to out there. No justice, no peace. You can't talk about Miss Kitty Sock. I will love her. I'm to you. I owe you. Can't be on the sideline. Because you're either with me or you're against me. So a lot of times, it's like, the, the haters are talking so loud that the people who love you, because they're not talking, then it look like, boy, them don't love you. Our people don't love you. And then come to find out, there's so many people who love and rate you. It's like, oh, wow. I didn't know. Wow. Thank you, guys. Oh, wow. That's nice. Thank you. You know? So sometimes the haters, them think they're winning and them think, yeah, I them and I them. And it's them. No, it's not them. No. No, it's not. You're not the one at all. Sorry. Erks. Burp. Bloop. Pardon. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lati. You know what I mean? So you have to just know, Seboy, you're your own cheerleader. Speak up for yourself. Speak goodness over yourself. You deserve it. You're the lender and not the borrower. You're the head and not the tail. You're a champion and you can do it. You're a champion and you can do it. You deserve it. You can and you deserve it. So I'm on in time, you know, sometimes, you know, your vehicle, you know, you feel a look on yourself and I say, go on, girl, you look good. You all you all you not feel your best. Why am I look bad yourself? So, yeah. Go on, girl. So I will look neck cleany. Boy. Skin cleany. Yeah. Go on, girl. Yeah. You have to just appeal like yourself, yeah, girl. But then look at outfit. You look good. You? All when your belly big, it matters not. Because it's not the belly, it's what is under the belly. Whoa, watch, watch good. Watch cute. All when you have cellulite. Whoa, watch good. Yeah. The right man. Or the right person will love you. And he won't even see flaws. He will see beauty. And me can tell you. When the right man love you. How will you think a flaw? When you, how will me think a flaw? Him love them. How will you think? How will you think a flaw? And you're like, oh my God, I don't like right here. Oh my God, I don't like this. Or I don't like that. Top boss. Love them. Even what you think somebody else might not like. Because as I tell you already, you will never be right for the wrong person. People have already made up their minds to hate you. If they've made up their minds to hate you, there is nothing that you can do to change that about them. And guess what? I am not here to change one damn thing. I am not here to change your mind about one thing. I am not a magician. Cause I'll know your mother not introduce you to your father and you're 30 and you're 35 and you're still not eat she. And you eat me and she if you eat. I'll know your father run left you and you eat him. Yeah, and you eat me and him if you eat. Your auntie will hold it on in a life and she if you eat. Mm -hmm. Your granny will boof buff and beat you and chop you with cup in your head back and ill treat you cause she never like your mother and she if you eat. I'll know you not eat your granny but you eat me. Oh, you eat me. I'm in a day nothing. Me in a plant, go and go online. Me know you're from the way. Eh? Me never book you in the VIP lunch and, and New York. Me never book you in the way. Me never book you in the way. Oh, you hate me. What you hate me for? What did, what did I do? What did I do? And your mother, your father would disown you. You not eat them. You not eat them. Why you, you gonna hate me? Your granny will abuse you. Eh? We make you have to stay outside and watch the TV. We get the worst part of the food and get the bottom of the food. Because your mother gone and treat you bad. You know, eat your granny, where you eat me? You eat me, I don't do nothing. What me do? I don't do nothing. I don't know you from away. The vitrolic statements, eh? The vitrolic statements. What is it only because somebody tell them about me? Yeah. Yeah, people eat me because people tell them about me. You don't, you don't even know me. You've never even tuned into my life. Yeah, they, they have issues. You have fend for yourself from your eight year old and from your seven. Right? And you don't eat the people them because that. No, well, talk the truth. No, they don't eat the people them. You better when they get a breast milk and a love and hug you up and reassure you. One thing my mother grow me with always make powerful decisions and not popular choices. 
I speak the truth. I am the truth. I live the truth. What I say might not be popular, but it's powerful. And I don't know for them can't take. I'm not going to tell you what's popular or what you want to hear or what's the done thing or what's the in thing and what's the now thing. I make powerful decisions, not popular choices. So again, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea come in a mug, but I'm right for the right people. Listen and learn. Laugh and grow. I make powerful decisions, not popular choices. So I'm not, I don't follow the in crowd. I'm a leader, not a follower. means a champion. If I don't set my tone for me, don't people can't tell me how to think or how to process. Again, your ideal purpose in life is to show me what I'm not supposed to do. That's why you're alive. To show me what I'm not supposed to do. What I must never do. What I must not do. You're that example right there. That's your purpose in life. To show me what not to do. So no beggy beggy peggy can program me and tell me how to think. No alphabet soup can give me no talk about nothing at all. Nothing. Your alphabet soup. Are you, you, you? You're somebody. Are you? Are you kidding me? You, are you kidding me? Really? Alphabet soup. You're gonna tell me what to do and how to think, and you 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 can't even direct your own life. Are you serious? Broke men will forever be pressed when I speak. I'm sorry, but men like no bank on a body. I'm sorry. Beggy beggy peggies will always be pressed. Be pressed all you want. Slavery. May have been done, but a lot of you are in a, in a plant in your mind is a plantation. You're still mentally enslaved, and so you will always push the patriarchal agenda, and not even realizing that you're doing so to your own demise and detriment because you lack insight. You are a tail. You're a tail. I'm a leader, not a follower. I'm a champion. I'm a go-getter and a goal-getter. And that is why I can speak how I speak. Because I've been there. I've walked the walk. I'm not just regurgitating stuff that I've seen or heard. I've been there. And that is why my heart can go out for people who work and go to school. Because I know what it's like. My heart can go out to students and that's why I give scholarships because I know what it's like to be studying and I don't want students to be fretting about, oh my God, how am I going to pay for my exams? Oh my God, I don't want students to think about that. What I want you to do is study your book, go and pass your exam and make your parents proud and make your family proud, make your community proud. That's why I give scholarships. I'm not forgetting a scholarship. I'm not a pitney. I'm not a, I'm not a kids. So I'm not paying about the school fee. I mean, pay my school fee. And my school fee we're paying a US car a lot expensive at 10,000 US and their money there. And that not include book, clothes, gas, food, and all the other expenses. But I give scholarships because I want people to actualize. I want them to grow. I want them to achieve their dreams. I want them to be leaders and not followers. So at the end of the day, me have to big up the people them who support Miss Kitty. Come from me, say Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty, say you. Right? Big up yourself. And they, and and there and, and and you know there are some people who like to ask some personal and private questions, right? And when you put them, when you put back certain questions to them, them now go like it. Mind your business. Because if I ask you certain questions, you, you're not going to like it. And then you're going to say my iPad, you're going to say my, my should have said that. But why you said that? I don't like open certain doors too much. You have to have a sense of occasion. But guys, this world is made up of all different kinds of people. And some of them are that type of people. They might like clips yell on them someday. Right? But don't even pay them any mind. Just focus on what you're doing. 
Because I want thing to know. Them can't turn off light, you know. If you want to get rid of darkness, shine the light. If you want to get rid of darkness, just shine the light. <laughs> oh, did you collect my offering? Thank you. Right? Yeah. So don't watch your eyes at the market. Just watch your profit. But remember, you are your cheerleader. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Set your standards and be unapologetic about it. Because people will treat you how they see you treating them yourself. If you don't treat yourself with respect, if you just let go yourself and anything goes, and you just uh, go on so, and you don't have no goal, and you don't have no, you know, you don't have, have no focus, and you just let go like a Lego beast. Hello? They're not going to have any respect for you. So you have to treat yourself with dignity. You have to have some pride about yourself. So that when somebody comes around, whether it be in, um, romantic or platonic, they will understand that you have standards for which you won't be apologizing. Because it's either one or two things. You either raise the bar and raise the standard or raise up to my standards or you leave. Is that simply no? Me cannot afford to buy a Ferrari, right? It's like oh, me cannot afford to buy it now. Me not go for Ferrari and say, go Ferrari. When you sell on the too expensive. When you sell on the car too dear. When you car too expensive. You car too this. No. I'm not going over Ferrari. What I need to do is up my game. Up my earning ability. So I could go over to Ferrari and buy Ferrari's car. Right now, Ferrari is not for me. It's not in my bracket. I cannot afford it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the Ferrari. Guys. When you set a standard for yourself, people have to fall in line. And who don't fall in line, you fall away. Gucci and Louis Vuitton, Ardemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, they don't have a sale. Gucci, Ardemars, Louis Vuitton, Guayar, they don't have sales. Their price is one level. They don't drop their price for people who can't afford it. You either can afford it or you leave it. It's that simple. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Patek Philippe, Ardemars Piguet. They don't have sales. They are never going to drop their price for people who can't afford it. It's not for you. It's not for me. I don't have 50,000 US dollars to spend on one watch. I can't. But there are people in the world that can afford it. It's for them. So what I'm going to do is not go in that watch store. I'm going to go in the watch store where I can afford to buy. Why am I, why am I going to say, um, I want the Artemars. I want the Patek. I want them. Why them watch it here? What kind of time it a tell? Eh? 50,000 US dollars for one watch. I want them. No, it's just not for me. It's just... It's not for me. If I, if I want an Artemars, if I want my AP, what I'm going to do is I'm going to either, I'm going to get another job. I'm going to work harder. I'm going to, you know, do more shows. Uh, Gramps is going to take me, uh, you know, on tour to Africa. You know, yay. Where my singing song, you know, tell me a woman like me. You know, then where they, yeah. Me will start to sell some things. I'll work harder or something. I'll go get, get another skill or me know up my education. Something, me know. Get something. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Audemars, Patek Philippe. Richard Milley, Guayar, they don't have a sale. They're not going to drop their price and their standard for people who cannot afford it. It's just not for you or me. I can't afford it, so I leave it. I go where I can afford. Or what I'm going to do is say, God, you know, some of the writers are right now. I mean, can't afford an AP there. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call Grams and say, Grams, you see, anytime I go to Africa on the show, I beg you, I want to come MC and you pay me. I'm going to start doing some show. I'm going to start doing some webinar. I'm going to start doing some things. I'm going to go out let them go shop. Until I up my game and I'm able to afford it. So don't drop your standards for people who can't afford it. 
your standards are yours. And you must be like reverent about it. Unapologetic about it. Simple. Unequivocally. Stand on it. It is what it is. You're not for everyone. You're not common like salt. It is what it is. And again, allow no one to tell you that you're not worth it. You're worth it. You're worth it and you deserve it. You're a leader, not a follower. You're the lender, not the borrower. You are a champion. Plain and simple. I wanna like it. Drop asleep and don't wake up. I just saw the thing set. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. Right? So, allow your words, your mouth to be your bridge and not your barrier. Speak positivity over your life. Speak positively about yourself. Speak positivity over your life. Speak positively about yourself. No matter what and no matter who. You are the best and you deserve the best. Speak positively about you. Believe in yourself. You are worth it and you deserve it. You are a leader, not a follower. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are a champion. You are a champion. I make powerful decisions. I don't make popular choices. So whatever is going on and it's a talk at the dinner, out of the dinner, I don't follow that. I'm a leader. Not don't broke girl nor boy can't tell me what to say, how to think, how to operate. Please. You have, uh, you have bigger fish to fry, you know, you know? You have some things to go deal with, you know, you know? You need to go find your father because you, your granny named it for your birth paper. You need, to, you, need, you need some something. You have some bigger fish to fry. You, you, got, some, you got some things to do. You got some things to sort out. Other than being over here, Trying to be a menace. Eh? Trying to be a menace. All Pharisees. None of them are hitman from hell. Y'all look on them? Come in and look on them. You understand? So. Thanks, Grams. I love you, my baby. Grams, the song. Let me try to find Grams' song yesterday. O'Neill, always here. Thank you for your support. I love you. I appreciate you. Big up yourself to everybody here, you know. Um... You know, um, I heard about a, that a lady, she has nice cheekbones, high cheekbones, you know, uh, she was commenting on some stuff. And I want to say thanks to everybody who, you know, would have give up, given a positive word. Thanks to you guys. Because as I say, some of them have a rapacious appetite for bring down woman and put down woman. And them now look on them mother, them now look on them granny, them now look on them auntie, them now look on them picnic, them, them now looking at them, them generational lineage, them not looking dear. And if you should have seen the lineage, remember me tell you have to throw an offering plate for them and get some consecrated olive oil. Okay, good. Yeah. Like, yo, I love that. Big ups to all the men who love us, take care of us, support us, cheer us on, you know, who treat us with respect, who treat us with love, who treat us well. Uh, we sincerely appreciate it. Thank you guys so very much. And to all the women, please know, everybody, men and women, know that you deserve the best. Know that you are the best. Know that there is nothing too much for you. And trust me, you deserve all the good things that life has to offer. Speak positively over your life. There is life and death in the power of the tongue. So choose your words carefully. Uh, only one life you have to live and you are the author of your life. It's important that you speak positively. Even when everybody else may be speaking negatively about you, speak positively about yourself. Respect yourself, love yourself, set your standards and be unapologetic about them because the right people will honor those standards and want to be a part of you. Those who don't, tough luck for them. Drink some bleach. Sorry. Tough luck for you. Tough luck for you. I'm unapologetic about what I want and who I am because I make powerful decisions, not popular choices. Find something great. I want to share it. 
Because at the end of the day, I want everybody to be happy. Because to me, or me look on life, if you rich and have your things and you're happy, you won't have time for bad mind me. You won't have time to watch me and want to tear me down. Even though I know some of the people them, no matter how much them have, them still have a bad mind because bad mind in a them DNA. But by and large, if people are happy and can do for themselves, I want people to be happy too. Right? Some everybody just feel good and smell good. Because I can't tell the people they smell like cedar 3000 and smell like the bottom of the barrel, my love. So I want everybody to feel good and smell good. I will talk about the color on them with the man them are wear now and what is in and what's hot. So guys, again... You are a leader and not a follower. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are a champion and you deserve the greatest things in life. You deserve the best things in life. You deserve it. You are worth it. You deserve it. You are worth it. Thank you guys. Love you lot. Some people, the haters them and the dunce people them and the broke people them and the beggy beggy piggy them, they like to misrepresent. I stand for what is right. I've never told anybody to sell themselves. I've always led by example and I inspire by doing. Have your own money, get your own autonomy, get your own independence and ensure that you have your things them so no boy can put you out and chat to you any, any way because you don't just bring something to the table, you are the table, okay? So check my script and check what I've said. And before you no watch piece and part of video, you only need to watch everything in a holistic way so you know what the message was or what the message is but someone to slow and to mix up to take the time out to watch the entire video so you understand the context in which we speak but then again me never care because whatever you want take away and run with i care z <laughs> zeta Steve. right now we are rise up i will take up holy past space and we're not gonna we're not gonna dwindle down and cut ourselves down into bite-sized pieces. Mega choke on so the try set on the track here good. We're not gonna choke and done. Cause me now nah, smile up myself. My mother grow me good and in love. And instill values and goodness in me from a barn till now. Big up my nice clean, my nice, clean, educated, loving mother. From a barn, she instilled beauty, strength, confidence, self-esteem, and self-worth. Yesterday, I was parring with my mom. It was so great. And she was just reassuring me and pouring into me and strengthening me. I must just say, yo, mommy, thank you. I love you so much. I'm going to just build back. I'm going to just ready back for the world. I'm going to just ready back. Ready back. Ready back. Because, you know, sometimes when you, have to, you can't say the things, you can't, you know, you have to just wall it. And my mom was just pouring into me, loving me. You know, I pray for me, pray with me. And it just meant so much to me to have my mom with me. And she reassured me. And she said, Cads, look from where you're coming. Look how far you've come. All that you've achieved. When me at your age, me not even achieve them things, yeah. Right? You're great. You're blessed. My mother said, I'm grow your good. Pour into you. And not only she treat fair pity them good, she treat other children good. So my mother plant good seed. And my mother poured, my mommy poured into me yesterday. And it felt so good. She said, you're supposed to drive my, my vehicle. You're supposed to live in my house. You're supposed to, that's why I work hard for you at Jordan. You're supposed to. And she prayed for me. And it was, it felt so good. And I just felt so lifted and so full, you know? And I just want to say thanks to my mommy for everything that you do for me. I sincerely appreciate you. And all the template that you have laid for me and my sister, JJ. And I'm so proud of my sister. She sent me her grades. Them. Jesus Christ. It could be like she have 10 brain. And we are going for Mrs. Forrest. I will trouble you. Eh? 96, 94, 86. I was so. And it was, I just felt so good. And then when mm -hmm. I looked pouring into me. Praying for me. And it was just so good. And I, mean, I said, mommy, thank you. I'm really. She said, I got you. And I'm like, you know, when she said that, it just really made me cry. And I just felt so good to know that I have a mommy that is there for me. You know, somebody who believes in me, support me. And that those are the things, you know, some of the people, them, them eat you because people love you. Them eat you because people love you. And how you can lift up people and motivate people. Them eat you for these things. People will eat you for the very ambition where you have. Yeah, Neslin, ready back. You never know, ready back. <laughs> ready back. One are ready to a move. 
So I just want to say, you know, big up on yourself as well. You know, it's so important to pour love into your children, self-esteem into your children, self-worth into your children, love in your children, confidence, reassurance in your children, because you have the sepulchre more people, them, the demon, them, the Lucifer, them, who will try to tear your children down. Because them grow like wild hog and wild goat. And them grow like mountain goat. Right? So they don't know what love is like. Them grow up on survival. Them grow up on love. None of them out there grow up on no love. Them grow deprived and depraved. And that is why they are how they are. Them grow up on no love. Them grow up on survival. And that is why they are like that. That's why they are not like gnawing at your flesh. Gnawing at your flesh. Right? Like disease and bacteria. Them not grow up on no love. Them grow up on survival. Them grow deprived. Them grow depraved. Them don't know what love is like. They don't know what reassurance our family is like. They don't know what it's like to hear somebody say, I love you. You're special. You're great. You're a blessing. They don't know those things. And that is why they perpetrate their anger and animosity. Eh? Pan good, clean, decent people who never see them. Them worse than coronavirus. Because at least coronavirus have a vaccine now. As a matter of fact, them have three or four now. Them not have none. Them grow up on survival. So them don't know no love and them don't know no better. And because them grow broken and broke. Them grow up with hatred for people and anger for people. And as I say again, the people who them for eat them not eat them. The people who them for give a hard time, them not give them a hard time. The people who blight them future, them not giving them a hard time.